Hello everybody, my name's Rob, hope you're okay. Just another quick Photoshop tutorial and uh, today we're going to look at um, a new filter or a fairly new filter um, from Adobe Labs that you can download for free. Um, it's called Pixel Bender. Um, some of you have probably heard of it um, and I've just been experimenting with it, uh, with this picture. Um, it works great on pictures uh, like a beach scene like this one and uh, other pictures with uh, uh, you can use it on uh, sort of any picture really to make it look like an oil painting um, and I've already downloaded uh, the filter and I'm, all I'm going to do just to show you is uh, duplicate this layer with control or command J and I'm just going to go up to my filter menu and at the bottom it says pixel bender and I'm just going to click on the gallery and it's quite a GPU intensive uh, program, filter, whatever it uses quite a lot of power from your computer and I'm not sure um, if you can download this on anything other than CS5 I'm not sure so I do apologize um, there are different options to choose from um, which look to me pretty pointless um, I'm not really sure what that is let's look at fisheye don't really know uh, what the point of that is so the one that you'll use most is oil paint let's look at this quickly and uh, there you go it's made this photo into a kind of oil painting effect and you can adjust the settings and put in what you want we can intensify that a bit by putting the brush scale up there you go so um, the uh, settings I've used for the stylization is 2.8, the cleanliness just over 6, colorization 1.18, brush scale 4 and the brush contrast I've left on 1. So I'm going to click OK. And it's quite glitchy as you can see but um, it's just because it's quite uh, GPU intensive. It's it's quite a high powered program but as you can see it's done a good job um, and that's it guys uh, rate or subscribe please leave comments my name's Rob um, take care guys see you again soon